Okay, the college football season officially kicks off tonight at ASU. The Sun Devils taking on New Mexico State and fans, of course, hoping ASU will lead the Pac-12 this season. I'm trying to say that quietly. It's over all here. good. Ryan Dan, engineers hoping to lead the country in technology, hey, too. Hey, I'm a football fan, you first are. and foremost, yes. but I'm a Wildcat, truth be told. Uh, no Holland Graph is live with an inside look. They're going to turn this place into a smart stadium in Tempe, right now, hey? Yeah, Dan, so we all know who Alexa is, right? Amazon's artificial intelligence. Well, if you subscribe to Alexa, now you can enable Ask ASU on your device, and you can ask various questions about the school, and the school is going to start using it to pump up the fans on game day, kind of like this. So you show some spirit. So Alexa is going to play the fight song. If you ask her to, you can ask school trivia questions like, say, which player wore number 42. Students in Tucker Engineering House right now can use it just like you would in your home. Smart technology is also helping operations here at the stadium. It monitors solar energy use, water use, maintenance crews get an alert if something is wrong. ASU has partnered with Intel for a lot of this. They put sensors all around the stadium, and now this is really cool. They're researching facial recognition technology that's actually going to be able to read the mood of the crowd so they'll know when to launch a game to hype everybody up or send a free drink coupon if a fan looks sad. It can also be used as a safety tool. There's also ramifications around security. If something happens, maybe, um, maybe unfortunately there's a fight or something, you can find out and you can actually effectively send people to help out with what's there. Okay, so now let's talk about parking. We have some early risers here who have parked themselves at Wells Fargo Arena here, Camp Fargo, so that they can hopefully get the best seats to the game. But meantime, everybody else uh, can figure out which lot to go to by going to the ASU app. And they actually have an interactive map so you can figure out where your seat is and then it'll show you the best lot that you should park in. Eventually, they're gonna take this and connect it to your smartphone app so that hopefully they can send you push alerts about which lots are full and help you find the best place to park from there. I'm live at Sun Devil Stadium. No, hey, Lonnie Graf, ABC 15, Arizona. Well, we've got to show you this. This is a tribute, a fitting one to a hero. There goes that tarp and Pat Tillman stands there now a uh, pretty majestic there at the north end of the stadium. As Sun Devil football players run through that Tillman tunnel, each one will get the chance to touch the statue as they go onto the field. And Dan, we were talking about this this morning. Whether you're a Sun Devil fan, whether you're not, we can all agree yeah. this is really a touching tribute to a real hero. Well, college football is all about tradition, too. Mm -hmm. This is kind of a new tradition to add to that legacy that ASU football has. I think it's fantastic. I love the Wildcats, of course, down in Tucson. But hey, this is fantastic. It gives you chills. Yeah. Uh, everybody can respect Pat Tillman as that hero that he was. Exciting stuff. You know, just a couple of minutes ago, we saw those folks sleeping yes. out there for the tickets. <laughs> and all I could think was they've got blankets on. Iris, what's the weather <laughs> going to be like for them? Is there a 